What's up my baby flowers? It's Alex here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, it's not gonna be a normal one. Normally, you guys don't see my face, you just see my screen and the game I'm playing. But in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I wanna move towards being a VTuber and what that means for my channel. For one thing, I've never done a face reveal and I don't plan on doing an actual face reveal anytime in the near future, possibly in a few years. I'm not really sure yet, guys, but that's why I find it important that I should have at least a V model of my avatar, or V model? I don't know if that's, I don't know what to call them. I think it would be like a virtual, I think that's what V stands for, like a virtual, virtual version of my avatar, just so you guys can relate to me more. Because that's definitely an important part of being a YouTuber, is having this character, or even yourself, just someone that the watcher can actually relate to, and I feel like that's an important part not only for you guys, but for me as well, because I feel like when I don't show my face, there's like a part that's just like kind of missing from the videos in a way where it's like, for example, if I'm playing a horror game, you guys can't see how I'm like, whoa, this is scary, or like if I'm playing a funny game, you guys can't see my laugh or you can't see me smile. And I feel like that just kind of is disappointing sometimes from a YouTube standpoint, just because like, that's part of the thing of being a YouTuber, like, you have this character, you have this, like, persona of yourself or of, like, even a separate character that you, like, present yourself as, and if there's not, like, a specific character for that watcher to relate to, I feel like it just, the experience isn't as good, if that makes sense. And that's why I'm deciding to use this V model of my avatar. For one thing, this will not only allow you guys to see my actual expression, so if I'm, like, Smiling, you can kind of see me smile. I'm not smiling a lot right now, but on top of that you can also see like Me like not my face or anything But you can see like if I do a hand movement you can actually see this like because these these aren't virtual hands These are my real hands and my shirt and everything is like my actual shirt like this isn't virtual The only thing that's virtual is the avatar the face up and then the hair which happens to go below the face Here you guys can kind of see there's actually a decent amount of volume to the hair in terms of you can kind of see it go back and whatnot. You can also see my pink gaming chair. <laughs> but yeah, and on top of that, you can also see a little bit of my room here. You can see I have a, I have a microphone here. I have some artwork there. You can see there's like a few art pieces in my background, that type of stuff, just because I want my room to be this cozy area. You can also see I have LED lights lining the, actually the whole outline of like my whole room. Like it's literally around my whole room, but you can only see this bit of it. The only thing is I do have a little bit of the LED light that I guess is like the blue RBG on it has died so when I have purple it's not showing the blue part it's only showing the red undertones which leaves it looking orange so I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. For one thing my head mostly will be covering it for the most part so I don't think that should be too much of an issue and on top of that I have these headphones which I actually have in real life here because this of course is the virtual version of them. You can see it attaches to the virtual hair, but I do have a real life version of these. Whoops, I just messed up my mic. Hopefully I didn't do anything to that. Sorry about that, guys. But I do have a real life version of these headphones here with the kitty ears. So I thought, hey, might as well add these to my digital, digital character as well, just because, you know, I want it to be, like, I want this character to be me. And obviously it is me. Like, I'm here talking right now, of course. But I feel for me personally, I want to have some sort of character aside from just some pixels, and of course these are pixels as well, but I feel like my Roblox avatar or my Minecraft avatar, like those are like extremely pixely. Like you can't see my expressions, you can't see, like there's no form of realism in that versus with this, even if you can't see my face, you can still see me and you can see when I go like, oh my gosh, wow, and stuff like that. And on top of that, you can also see like my actual hands, like hi, hello, these are my actual hands. I know, my hands are pretty sweaty, <laughs> um, but yeah, like you can see, like I have my chair here, I actually have, I have this pillow here, which is pretty comfy, not gonna lie, but I normally just have this on the side of the armrest, just because that's easier, so I don't like lean back all the way and stuff, um, and you can see I have my microphone here, I have a very tiny mic, it's like the size of like, whoops, that was probably too loud, anyways, it's like the size of like two fingers, or maybe even one. But anyways, I just wanted to address how important it is to me that you guys can actually have someone to relate to because as my channel grows, I feel like there's a need to have at least some form of like, hey, this is me, this is who you're looking at. I feel like it's just important to have this 
On top of that, I will only be doing this for the videos, for streams, I cannot unfortunately because I am not yet aware how to connect this platform to a webcam, but for most of my YouTube videos, as long as I continue to use this platform and it continues to work properly, I do plan on using this for my YouTube videos. It might not be for every video, just depending on like what it is, like maybe if it's something where you need to like see the corners of the screen or see certain parts, I might not. But stuff like Adopt Me, for example, like I want you guys to be able to see my expressions. Like if someone offers me a trade, I could be like, whoa, that's really good. And you guys can see me go like, and like open my mouth and raise my eyes and like my eyes get all big and stuff or if I'm like oh my gosh thank you so much and I can like smile and I can like give a thumbs up it's like you guys can actually like just relate to me that makes me so excited moving forward and on top of that I'm so grateful for 700 subs we're growing at an amazing rate I think I've gotten like that one video I have has 33,000 views which is like I'm just like in shock honestly but that video has 33,000 views which is amazing and I've gained a lot of subs from that video. I did post one video, it's like the ooh, what does this button do video, and a lot of people who do that blow up for some reason, even if they don't have a lot of subs, like even if they only have like 50 subs, which is still a good amount, but it's not like a lot, a lot per se, like they'll like blow up and get like hundreds of thousands of views, so I hope I can gain some views from that, which will definitely help me with my watch hours and gaining some subs. And I've had a ring light for a while now, and actually if I, turn the ring light off here you can just you can see the difference because on top of having this face i need to have like good lighting all around me i guess because otherwise it's like you have this nice like evenly lit face and then you can like barely see the rest of me like my hands they just look like they don't pop as much but when i turn this on it's like you can really focus on me as a person and not just as a character i guess and yeah anyways thank you all so much for watching this video if you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them down below and stay colorful my baby flowers peace out